What is going on guys, DBG here, and today we're going to be ranking the best small forwards in NBA 2K20 to my team. So this is specific, specifically going to be how they play at the small forward position. So we're not going to be looking at guys that are really good at other positions. For example, like the best example that I can give is that I would, maybe I would put Luka Doncic in A tier because he's better at point guard than small forward. But that's a maybe. That is a maybe. I'll see what players we have. So, anyway. AJ Griffin first. And AJ Griffin again. A super slept on player. I'm going to put him in C tier. He's not bad. Not those Jefferson Sigs. Like, he's really not a bad card. I know a lot of people are, like, really low on him in general. I know a lot of people are really, really low on him in general. But I think as a card, he's a perfectly fine player. And I think C tier... See, there's good for him. Poku. Now, Poku's going to go D or E tier. I kind of loved Poku when he came out. If they gave Poku quick drops, this card would be just a different animal. But a decent release, decent player builds. And I actually did very much like when he came out. This is a card that I really don't like in general. Um, I think Poku's better than AK. His release is just so slow. Like, it is really freaking slow. I just want to get my worth list here out of the way with first, though. Because I'm like, if, if I've got AK and E tier, we got to get some guys down and worthless. So the first worthless tier player is going to be Mike Miller. Again, like, he's not absolutely awful, but yeah, at this stage, he's worthless. Same with Ingram. Hey, like Brandon Ingram. Brandon freaking Ingram. Like, he had a, not the best year in general, but he had some great moments this year. He had a okay year. No dark matter. Paco Full. Six Dark Matters. Wiggins. Nah, Wiggins isn't going worthless. Uh, I'm going to put... Hmm. Thorough's not, definitely not worthless. There's got to be somebody else to put in worthless. Mullen's not worthless. Ah, oh, my voice is in a bad L spot right now. It's breaking quite a bit. Um, am I gonna have? I'm probably gonna have to put Franz in there. I don't even mind Franz. To be fair, none of these cards are absolute. None of these cards are unusable. Every card in this list is usable. Um, I actually think Mikhail Bridges has. To Mikhail Bridges has to go into that AK tier. AK might get moved down for all I know. AK might get moved down. Like he is not the player that we want to. Uh, you would ever want to use like Roger Barrett's like so much better than those guys. I need two more guys who are worthless here. Thurl maybe Thurl's big. Non evoed Scotty Barnes will go there, but I mean he is evoed. Don't like Baylor, but he's definitely gonna be in a higher tier. Ugh. gonna have to be like marketing has to be one of them and the last worthless player at small forward maybe no not lamello he's okay now this is tricky i'm gonna put worthy down there i don't think i don't even think worthy's absolutely terrible but compared to the other guys i'm gonna have to put worthy right down here in worthless tier okay so wiggins e we move Pokashevsky down to E tier. Wiggins is going to go E tier. Pretty okay player. Uh, C tier is where I'm going to put like an Antoine Jameson. Stats wise, really good. Lopez base is pretty nice as well. The only issue with Antoine Jameson is that like nobody ever really got him because he was a lock in with like Oscar Robertson. And while neither of them were like god tier cards, Oscar Robertson was clearly the better of the two options. Then Michael Jordan. Okay, I got to go A tier for Jordan. I just got it. Edwards. D, too small to play small forward. Like Jordan is quite small. You wouldn't don't want to play him there. He's still insanely good there if you want if you need to. But Anthony Edwards is just too little. His release is too slow. He's just not really not really it. Um Bobby Jones. I'm gonna put Bobby Jones in C tier. He's got that Kobe size up. He's got like a lot of good things going for him. It's just his release. It's sorry, not his release, his three-point rating is kind of low. And I don't think he's the best hot zones in the world. But Bobby Jones is just a really solid player. Great defender. Great defensive animations. 
Uh, small forward Chris Stapps, A tier. A tier, no doubt about that. Like, he's, I don't like him a point guard, but at small forward, he's really good. He's really good. Then we've got Mel Mellows. Uh, I'm going to go... I'm going to put this Carmelo Anthony in, like... B and I'll put this one in A. This Melo could get moved up to be honest because he's a really good card. Again, all end game cards are really good in this game. Cedric Maxwell, to this day, C tier. I stand by that. Cedric Maxwell, that base three, he just feels different. He's got that unbelievable player build. Like, do I think he's the best player in the world? No, but am I happy enough to put him in C tier? Yeah, I am. JR at small forward, he's C tier. He's like that AJ Griffin level player. Um, Chris Mullen, E, Chris Mullen, E, they're the same card, except one of them has 86 ball handle, the other one is E. Chris Weber. Now, Weber might be our first, Weber's the best small forward we have on the list so far. Weber's got that 110 that I really like. He's 6'9". Player build is small, but because he's a small player build, he moves as well as any 6'9 player in this game. I think Larry Bird is probably the only 6'9 player I think moves better than him. Ferry. I'm going to put Ferry and Larry's Larry Nance because they're a dynamic duo. They're both going D tier. With the duo, both of them become C tier players. They actually become really, really good players because Larry Nance's one flaw is his low ball handle. That gets kind of saved. And Ferry just becomes God. Granger at small forward. I don't mind him, but I don't think he's any better than like Jameson. I think he's a step below Cedric Maxwell, honestly. But Granger was really, really good, especially a point guard. DeRozan, uh, he's T Mac with a better behind the back with a worse player build. So I'm going to give T Mac or DeRozan B tier. He's definitely an awesome. We want to run small forward, but really good. Tracy McGrady at small forward, though. I actually like him. You'd rather run him at the two, but this Gamma one is essentially the same as the Invincible. I'm going to Tracy McGrady in A tier. I love that Trey Burke base. He's got a way better player build than DeRozan. I think he belongs in A tier. Luka Doncic. I got to put him in S. The Invincible would go into S tier as well. Should you use Luka point guard? Yes. But if you're running a lineup with like Kareem at the one or Giannis at the one and you just still want to use Luka, use this Luka instead of the um, instead of the Invincible Luka. Oh, sorry. Um, use this Luka instead of like the, yeah, sorry, the shooting guard Invincible Luka. Just take the, like just run him at small forward. Just run him at small forward. If you don't want, if you can't run Luka point guard, don't get anything of the two guard Lukas. Run this one. Then we've got Dominique Wilkins, B tier. A card that I like. I don't absolutely love this card, but anytime I've used him, he's been decent. MPJ, huge body, but because of his player build being so big, he doesn't move the way you would hope MPJ moved would move, and he's just a, a solid small forward you can play at the two. Durant, I'm gonna go A up. A, B for Durant. By the way, this Durant encompasses all the Invincibles to play small forward as well as the, um, his season. You're all in A tier. Sorry, not Magic. Magic is not A tier. Magic is one of the most slept on players in the game because he has a really good defensive build. He can't run, but his base, he got base 110, which is Weber release. So he is unbelievably chick. Like, it's so easy to hit with him and his release is fast. Dre, at this stage of the game, Draymond's an A tier player. He was good though. Don't get me wrong, Draymond had his time, and during Draymond's time, he was him. Draymond has had a time as him. T Mac, a Eddie Jones. I actually think he's better than anyone in E tier, so I'm gonna put Eddie Jones in D tier. One of the more, one of not the even the more, one of the most slept on players in this game. Stevie size up. He's the own one of the only players with base 31 and very quick. He might in fact be the only player with base 31 and very quick. Really nice release, really good defensive animations. Eddie Jones is not that much worse than like JR. And honestly, I just like Cedric, so I'm putting him in C tier. I'm going to put Elgin Baylor in D tier as well. He's just small. Elgin Baylor is very comparable to an Antoine Jameson. He does move a lot better than Jameson, but he's smaller. And yeah, I'm, I'm not putting him in C tier. Fernando Martin. I'm going to give B tier. Oh, uh, no. No, I'm going to give him C tier. I actually preferred Bobby Jones to Fernando Martin. They're unbelievably similar players, except with Bobby Jones, you get, I think it's Kobe Escape, but you get the Kobe, you get the uh, Kobe size up as well. Whereas for Fernando Martin, you get the Trey Escape. They both have really good releases, but have kind of low three-point ratings and are god-tier on defense. 
My preference is Bobby Jones or Fernando Martin. You guys might, if you guys want to argue Fernando over any of these guys in B tier, that's fine. Just B and C tier are quite similar. Like Fernando Martin and Bobby Jones are the two best players in this tier. And they might get moved up. Uh, Gerald Wallace at small forward B tier. He's small. He's small. You don't really want him to guard ball too much. Um, his release is fantastic. His dribbling is fantastic. His defensive animations are fantastic. I just wouldn't want to play him a small forward. He actually might get moved down tier. Larry Legend. This Larry Legend. I'm just going to put him into this tier for the lols. In this uh, small forward. Invincible Larry. I think he moves so well. I think his jumper is actually kind of nice. And I don't know. I just really find it funny cucking people with Larry. How angry they get. Yannis Anthony. Larry's going to move down tier. <laughs> Yannis. Because Yannis Anthony the combo has got to go. Sa. S.A. All of the Yannis's, even the 75th goes in here as well. But Yannis is going to go S and A tier. An unbelievable player. An absolutely unbelievable player we have right here. So. I think I'm going to have to like readjust my tiers. I'm going to move DeRozan down. I'm going to move Carmelo Anthony down. Not Jordan. I'm going to move Seti down. Uh, I'm not going to move Seti down. I'm going to move AJ Griffin down. I'm gonna keep Larry. I'm gonna keep Gerald Wallace. I'm gonna keep Magic. At small forward, I'm gonna move Larry or Magic down. I'm gonna move T Mac down. Yeah, I'm more happy with this list now. LeBron C tier. I'm not even joking. Giannis 75th. A. They're the same card. So uh, let's just move Giannis 75th. Let's move the Invincible to the bottom because everyone knows the Invincible is the same card. This Giannis, at this stage of the game, like he's still Giannis, so he's got, he's still good. But I'm going with C tier. Go C tier with him. I, I, by the way, I don't like any of the non endgame LeBrons. Odom, a no brainer, absolute no brainer A tier player. Like this guy is the best. And I repeat, the best small forward that is not an invincible or endgame. He is the best base dark matter invincible or endgame card. Reggie Lewis. At small forward, I'm going C tier. I love Reggie Lewis, though. Kemba Walker release, Curry slide, really nice player build, moves well, runs well. I'm telling you, lads, Reggie Lewis is slept on. Grand Hill is going into that C tier as well. He's fine. That's the only word I can say to describe him. LeBron might go to S. LeBron might go. LeBron's better than Weber. LeBron's going S tier. Um, like LeBron's just got that really good he's really good on defense he's got that great player build you don't need to dribble the ball with him if he's playing small forward he's got stash shot 25 he'll catch it and shoot and he just has that player build difference over a lot of these other guys Hito Turkoglu is going to go into C tier Hito can cook he's not the greatest card in the world but he can cook Paul George C tier or B A tier what am I talking about a really good player decent height better played as a, as a tall shooting guard um, but again, a really nice player. Jabari Smith, the most disappointing. I'm still going to give him B tier, but he might be the most disappointing player in all of my team. Like, if you look at his stats, badges, height, and everything, and animations, you would think this dude literally, he's got freaking endgame six. He literally has endgame six. Like, it's like D-Rose, Trey Escape, freaking Trey Fade, a Ray Allen base, just something about him. He's like six foot five in game. Like, he, he has the stats and badges, without question, being an A-tier player on animations. Just not. Jalen McDaniels, good player, but going D-tier. Uh, Jalen Rose, not the greatest at small forward. I'll put him in D-tier. Taco Fall, a small forward, is an A-tier player. He's just got that height, man. He's got that height. And if you really want to run, like, Taco, Kareem, and Yao together, this Taco at small forward is the way to do it. This Taco's so much better than out of position, Yao. Like, he might be the top player. He might be up there with the top players in A-tier, to be honest. Um, Jalen Brown. Look, I don't even mind Jalen Brown. I'm putting him in D tier. I don't mind him. He's just not brilliant. Better than Tatum. Tatum's going to D tier. Tatum is in that like category with Andre Karlenko, Draymond, and um, Tatum. Guys from season six that were just kind of like cones. Same with Mikael Bridges. Jimmy Buckets. I think Jimmy's as good, if not better, than all of those guys. I actually preferred a lot of these guys in D tier to Jimmy Butler. He's just okay. We're gonna go D tier for Joe Johnson. Big player build moves quite a lot better than all these guys. Just has quite a slow release. Jonathan Isaac is into that B tier category. 
Again, another guy that's been okay for so long that he's been slept on. Like, even when he came out, he wasn't in anyone's, like, main squads, but he was always decent. One of the guys I've come up against least this year because he was probably, he was expensive while not being the best player on his team. But, um, best player in the set or on any team. I'll go B tier for him. I'll go B tier. Um, then we're going to go with Kaminga. I think Kaminga is a step above all of these guys. I don't, again, I don't think Kaminga is anything spectacular, but I do really like him. I think Kaminga is a really, really good player. So then we got Josh Smith. People might kill me for this, but like I'm going to go into D tier. I don't like this card. I don't know what there is not to like him. It's just a weird upper and stuff. I love the Josh Smith cards earlier in the year. There's just something about this Josh Smith card that I don't like. Like, I really liked... I liked... There was a... Am I right in saying there was a Diamond Beast Josh Smith? I love the Amethyst start here. Am I right that there was a Diamond Beast one? Um, the Dunk Tower one was incredible. Yeah, the Diamond Beast one was incredible. The Pink Diamond was incredible. I loved all those cards. And then it's... For some reason... Sorry, lads. For some reason, this is the least I've success I've ever had with Josh Smith. You have to every Josh Smith except this one. Giannis somehow ended up back there. Uh, Wancho. Um, I go D tier. I say I go C tier because his he's a good shooter and his animations are good on offense. He was meant to be this defensive god. They made him like a defensive god after hustle, but I'm telling you, he was not good in game. This Kawhi Leonard, I'm sorry, at this stage of the game. You know what? I would rather play this Kawhi than anyone in E tier. Go higher. This Kawhi. Uh, let me put him highest of B tier. Can't really move, but he still has the glitchy Kawhi release. Keegan Murray is going into that B tier as well. Bigger player build than um, Jabari Smith. Better shooter and overall, probably a better player than Jabari Smith. Uh, this Kevin Durant... I'll go C tier with one of these Kevin Durant's, and the other one is obviously A tier. I'll go C tier with this one. Um, I'm going to go D tier, honestly, with Chris Middleton. Not a big player build. Doesn't move well. Literally a catch-and-shoot player. That's all he does. Lamelo's going to go C tier at small forward. I actually don't even mind him there. I used him there at one stage, and he was okay. I don't even mind him power forward, because he's got a lengthy player build. He plays lanes well. Again, not the greatest player in the world. Not bad, either. Like, as far as, like, cards go, he's a perfectly average card, and I think he fits right in a seat here. Larry Keenan is one of these, those guys that is the most slept on player in my team. I'm putting him in seat here. Like, Larry Keenan, I'm telling you, the only reason people are sleeping on this guy is because um, I was on my potential deathbed when this card came out. Like, there was no tweets, there was nothing coming from the DBG channel, because I remember looking down, like, I remember... Basically being told there was a chance that I wasn't going to make it to the next day. And then looking down at my phone to see a notification. This card came out and the last thing I think about was 2k. So without that, there wasn't too many people hyping up these budget players. And I firmly believe it's the reason why Larry Keen is one of the most left on players. Because you better believe I would have sent him to the damn moon. Base 4 on very quick. Unbelievable shooting. Unbelievable defense. Unbelievably big player build. Really good ball handle stats. And the normal 2 leaner, which is god tier. I'm telling you lads, had I been... Had I been healthy, this was going to the moon. Oh, LeBron, get into Worthless. Oh, no. Worthy, you get out of... Uh, you know what? Marklin, you get out of Worthless. LeBron, you get down there. This LeBron James. We already have a LeBron James and C tier. They're the same card. They're the same card. Uh, Malik Seeley. B. Like a worse version of like a Kawhi and a Gerald Wallace, but very good. Uh, C tier for Michael Finley. Too little. Yeah, sure, he's got, like, dribbles, great dribble sticks. His release just looks weird. And unless you are, like, an absolute park... If you're a park guard, yeah, you're going to like this card. If you're not a park guard, you're not going to like him. Um, Jordan, invincible. Um, do I have zero gravity Jordan here? I do. Zero gravity Jordan and invincible Jordan are the same card. So I'm going to push zero gravity up and just get rid of invincible Jordan. There is potential that zero gravity Jordan could go... No, nah, actually, not at small forward. I was like, he's a really good card. Like, not at small forward is he going up. So, um, then we've got Batum. We're going to put Batum at small forward in, like, D tier. He's fine. He's on that level of, like, a freaking Danny Ferry. OG Ananobi, a completely fine card as well. I'm um, probably going to go C tier for OG. He's, he's probably one of the lower C tier players. Like, he is fine as a player. I don't think there's anything great about him. I don't think there's anything bad about him, but I'll give him C tier. 
This Paul George here, I'm giving D tier. He, he's, I mean, considering he's a season six card, I think he's better than Andre Karolenko, Jimmy Butler, Mikhail Bridges, and Larry Markkinen. But like, again, he came out day one, season six. Can't expect him any higher. Peja, E tier. I thought he was any better than he was, man. I really did. Popeye Jones. Popeye the damn chicken man. So basically, Popeye came out and his release was terrible. He had like freaking Alonzo Morning release. And everyone was like, how can you release Popeye and not make him a chicken man? So 2K changed his release. Like it's the only time I've ever seen 2K like change someone's release to make them better based on us memeing about the card. Literally, they made Pop Like Popeye did not star as a chicken man. They made Popeye a chicken man. We were literally there and we, we were calling the spinach man for a while. We were like, when we saw Popeye Jones, we were like, it's going one of two ways. If he's a good release, it's Popeye the chicken man. And if not, Popeye the spinach man. And he was the spinach man for a while, and then he became the chicken man. That will be talked about in the documentary. But um, Richard Jefferson, I love the guard, but he's C-tier. On, on this list, he's a C-tier player. I'm going to do D-tier for RJ Barrett. Again, not a bad card, just there's God-tier cards on his list. Robert Ory, he's like a... He's just Carmel, wherever Carmelo Anthony is, the same card. They're literally just the same card, so C-tier. Rudy Gay, B. I would be Rudy Gay might be close to an A tier player, but I'm gonna go B tier for now. He's if I'm being honest, I would prefer this Kawhi and this T Mac over Rudy Gay. And maybe honestly, Andrew Wallace. Scotty Barnes, E tier, like a season five player, and um, was pretty good when he came out, but he's he's not great. This Scotty Barnes though. Man, this is the most slept on of all the endgame cards. He, the way he moves and shoots and stuff is just different. I don't know what it is. Can you guys let me know, are you guys the same with Scotty Barnes? That it's just something about him that just makes him unbelievable? Scotty Pippen, man. I'm sorry, I'm putting Scotty Pippen in D tier. He's just so bad on offense. And his defense is not... He's like a worse one show Hernan Gomez. He doesn't get good defensive animations. He had good defensive stats and badges. The animations just weren't there. Uh, Sean Kemp. I'm for Sean Kemp like really low D tier. He has he's the opposite. He gets ridiculous defensive animations despite not having the stats or badges. So like Kemp is a weird one. He shouldn't be as good as he is, but Kemp if Kemp had a better release, Kemp would be C or B tier. Tari Eason, like D tier. He's not as good as Did I if I put Dan did I put Daniels in this tier? Did I put AJ in this tier. Or say not Daniels, AJ Griffin. He's not as good as AJ Griffin anyway. Wherever I have AJ Griffin, he's not as good as him. Uh, Terry Dishinger, look. He wasn't as good as Mullen when he came out. He was he's not as good as RJ Barrett. Get him an E tier. Thon Maker is a card that I don't like. I'm putting him in C tier. Like I don't like him. If you're asking me Thon Maker or Jonathan Isaac, I'm taking Jonathan Isaac. There's just something about Thon Maker I don't like this year. I just think he move he's a freaking slug. If you guys think Thon Maker should be higher, that's fine. I don't. So I'm putting Thon Maker in a tier where I want to put Thon Maker. Thurl Bailey, E tier. He's got length. That's it. Tobias Harris, you stink. Get down, Franz. You go up. Is he better than Franz? Maybe, but I mean, I've, it's close. And Franz is Franz. At least he it was good for a budget card. Um, Tracy McGrady, Invincible, is the exact same as the uh, thing card. He's going to win A tier because he is the exact same as the Gamma card. Vince Carter, like C tier. He's not bad. I remember when I was like calling him like the most mid um, invincible in the game. I was like, I, I agree. He probably he is one. Of, he was one of those mid invincibles in the game that came out in se in all of season set or season eight. He's one of the worst invincibles that came out in season eight. Doesn't mean he's bad. Um, Xavier, good length, good shooter. I'll go C tier. Zion, look at this stage in the game. Zion's got base three on very quick and a wide ass player build, so I'm gonna give him D tier. I don't think he's great. I really don't think he's great at this stage. He's not as good as a SETI anyway. AD, A. Like you might call me crazy, but I'm such a big fan of this Anthony Davis card. This specific Anthony Davis. I don't like Anthony Davis in general in this game. This specific one at the small four position is really freaking good. I, I preferred him to Giannis when they both came out. Is Giannis better? A lot of people would say yeah, but I think I preferred Anthony Davis. Ben Simmons is a B tier small forward. Like, he can move a little bit. He runs well. His jumper is just kind of slow. Is he any better than, like, Michael Porter Jr., a small forward? I don't think so. But he's not bad. I'm, I think B tier is fair for him at that position. He's definitely probably an A tier point, B or an A tier point guard. 
Uh, I actually don't mind Danny Manning. He has some okay dribble saves. Release is really good, though. Behind the back, he's terrible, though. So he's like a CB player. Um, already have him on the list. Okay, so what players do I not have on this list? Because so, I already have Middleton on it. So it's just these guys at the end. So Kareem A tier. Kareem might go S tier, if we're being honest. Like, this Kareem is unreal. I actually think, in terms of, he moves way better than a Taco and a Porzingis. Um, and he's just really, really good. He's really good. Kawhi. Okay, so I'm going to just move these guys into tiers. I think they are. So I'm going to put Clay Thompson in, like, D tier. I think Clay stinks. And I'm going to move Rashard Lewis into C tier. I think he's fine. And then Larry Bird and Kawhi Leonard. So Larry's going S tier. I think Larry's the most slept on of every single endgame card, and I just feel like he moves better. Again, endgame cards are all basically the exact same. They're all the same sig, so it is all personal preference for me. Larry is there. For me, the best is Giannis. The second best. As far as endgame cards go, like Luca's Luca's kind of an anomaly because he's the best player, period, on next gen. And if you want to use like a cream of point guard, it means you have to use Luca at small forward. Even though ideally I would use Luca at point guard. I gotta put Luca at this top list because Luca, if you're not, if you want to run someone else a point guard, you gotta run this Luca because if you're not running any version of Luca, you're kind of screwed. You're kind of screwed in game. If you're okay running them at small forward, that's fine. For me, it would go Giannis is the best end game small forward, then Larry, then LeBron, and then Luca. I think is probably better than all of these cards. It's just small forward is not his best position. So for me, I got one spot to go. Guys that are in the shout for making that lot, one spot. Especially at small forward, by the way, which means they're probably not a primary or a secondary ball handler. Give me Ray Allen based Kawhi Leonard. This Kawhi Leonard moves better in terms of like dribbling and stuff, and he just feels more fluid. This Kawhi is a better jump shot. So if you're not using them as a ball handler, this Kawhi Leonard, give me Weber into the base. Give me Kareem. Kareem is in with a shout. And give me Lamar Odom for that last spot. So I think that's, um, Carmelo has to be there. So my last spot, I'm going to just give it to this Kawhi Leonard. I'm going to give it to this Kawhi Leonard. As much as I do love like Kareem and stuff, I'm going to move Kawhi Leonard into S tier because I think Kawhi, Kawhi and Luka are like must buys in almost every team. Sure, you can't run the two of them together, but like whether it's two guards, small forward, I think you must have, like I think everyone, especially at next gen, needs some version of Luka or Kawhi. Doesn't matter if you got 10 million empty, you need some version of Luke or Kawhi. And actually, this Kawhi at small four is better. I think at shooting guard, I would take this Kawhi. At small four, I would take this Kawhi. So, yeah. That's it. That is my tier list. That is the last small four tier list of the year. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.